About 80% of the population in sub-Saharan Africa live in rural areas and derive their livelihoods from agriculture. Potato is one of the most important food and cash crops, providing farming households with a nutritious diet and generating a much needed income to many. Potato crop is primarily cultivated by small scale farmers and its market demand has been rapidly increasing over the last 20 years. Despite its significance in Eastern Africa, potato faces many challenges. On average, the potato yields in Ethiopia, Kenya and Uganda are below 10 tonnes per hectare against a potential of 30 to 35 tonnes per hectare. Several factors have contributed to poor production in the potato subsector. Key factors include high disease pressure, lack of clean seed, poor soil fertility and soil health, and poor crop management. Mr. Ayahu Tesfai is a farmer from the northwestern region of Ethiopia in the Amhara region. On this plot of land, he and his family worked tirelessly to produce good yields, oblivious of the forces against them, such as the bacterial wilt pathogen. In his plot, there are patches of wilting plants, a sure sign that bacterial wilt is a major issue. His entire crop will eventually get infected with the disease, which would almost certainly lead to a total yield loss and devastation for him and his family. His story reflects millions of other farmers in the region, and tragically, most farmers do not have the technical knowledge and understanding on how to identify and react to such diseases. Bacterial wilt is one of the most deadly diseases in East and Central Africa. This disease is caused by a pathogen called Ralstonia solanacearum. The, the, the disease is spread uh, via the soils and also the affected seeds. The situation in East African countries is aggravated by farmers' lack of knowledge about key issues of crop rotation and soil health management. Many farmers plant potato all year round, not understanding that by doing so, they are predisposing their land to increased risk of soil-borne diseases, such as bacterial wilt. To address these problems, a three-year project with the title Soil Fertility and Soil Health, funded by the Austrian Development Agency, was initiated in February 2010 by the International Potato Centre. The project focuses on capacity building of uh, African researchers and the management on uh, uh, soil fertility and uh, soil health issues in potato-based system. We are uh, integrated uh, in a participatory way uh, uh, farmers uh, in uh, Uganda and uh, Ethiopia to see the outcome and the potential of adoption of new technologies in the field. The main idea behind this project was to reduce soil-borne pathogens, particularly the bacterial wilt, which was a deadly disease in the potatoes in Ethiopia and Uganda, and also improve the soil fertility. The project was done in partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture, National Agricultural Research Institutes in Kenya, Uganda and Ethiopia, Egerton University in Kenya, and Boku University in Vienna, Austria. Egerton University, which is in Kenya, is much close, and that's how we came in with the following tasks. First of all, we were to, to run trials, and secondly, we were to coordinate other activities in the region, especially the socioeconomic activities. Bacterial wilt is a global disease. It is so devastating in East Africa because of a few key reasons. Lack of clean seed potato, infected soils, and lack of knowledge among potato growing farmers. <laughs> Ethiopia is a country located to the north of Kenya and Uganda. It is in the highlands and is a country rich in agricultural potential. In Ethiopia, potato is a very important horticultural crop 
and is consumed to complement the favourite cereal foods like teff, wheat and barley. It is here at the Ethiopia Institute of Agricultural Research, ADET station, situated in the northwestern region of Amhara, where scientists have been working on clean seed multiplication of improved varieties. ADET is uh, working on potato for the country. And uh, at this time, uh, uh, we have released about 30 potato uh, varieties that germplasm is from SIP and SIP has help, helped us in providing not only germplasm but also financials like EDA project. Holeta is another research station located a few kilometres from the city of Addis Ababa. Here scientists work further on developing biological control agents of bacterial wilt disease. Dr. Bekele Kasa, a plant pathologist, has worked in this research institution for over 23 years. Today, Dr. Kasa is conducting an experiment where he introduces the bacterial wilt pathogen and potential biocontrol agent into the same culture plate. This is done to obtain the most suppressive biocontrol agent against the destructive pathogen. We are starting to use uh, biological agents to control bacterial wilt. We are trying to see their effect, their, uh, their inhibition effect on bacterial wheat, Rarsoria solensiara. From the results obtained, Dr. Kassa was able to conclude that five biocontrol agents effectively suppress the bacterial wilt pathogen up to 80%. Actually, uh, they showed they had uh, some level of inhibition effect on the pathogen. There is a possibility of considering those bioagents in, and integrating with other control measures to control bacterial wilt. In Ethiopia, the project focused on three main areas. Developing a crop rotation system to manage bacterial wilt disease and to improve soil fertility. Provision of clean planting materials sourced from the highlands where clean seed potato production was done conducting farmers' participatory research groups. This is Shashameni, a hotspot area for bacterial wilt in Ethiopia. A while ago, farmers looked on in disbelief as their crops wilted away. They hardly knew what was happening. However, through farmer participatory research, they were provided with clean seed, equipped with necessary information on a range of topics, including bacterial wilt disease management, soil health, crop management, and training on identifying the disease on the farms through a diagnostic process called the bacterial oozing test for early detection of bacterial wilt pathogen. With this test, the farmers can now identify and diagnose bacterial wilt infected plants by cutting the stem of wilting plants and suspending it using a wire in clear water. If the plant is infected, then bacterial ooze will be seen coming out of the cut stem into the clear water. At on-farm levels, farmers are able to directly establish whether a suspected wilting plant is infected with bacterial wilt or not. And with this, the farmer is able to decide whether they are going to use the, the produce from that farm as seed or for wear production. <laughs> ውጤት አገንተናል በማለት እኛ ተደስነ ተደስተንበታል ስለዚህ በጣም የሚያስደስት ስራ ስለሆነ አሁን ከናንተ ጋር በመቆየታችን እዝቡ ደሞ ከዚህ በላይ እንድለወጥ የሚመጣ ውጤት ነው ሰው ይለወጥበታል ገበሬው ደሞ ይደሰትበታል በማለት እኛ አሁን ተባብረናል in this village a few kilometers from the capital city Addis Ababa this farming group, comprising mainly of women, could not hide their joy. Oh. <laughs> 
ሌሎችንም ነገር መዳበራ አከባቢ እሱንም ሽጥን ለማግዛት ብዙ ልዩነት አለው ብዙ ልዩነት አለው ያሳድጋል እንጂ አያሳጥሩም ድንቹ በጣም ያሳድጋል እንጂ አያሳጥሩም ለወደፊቱም ግን ልጆቻንን ችንና እኛ ራሳችንን ለማሻሻልና ብዙም ነገር ሁሉንም ነገር ለማስራት ለሱ ስለሆነ ለወደፊቱም በደም እንሰራለን ብለን እናስባለን ከወልዱ ታርሻ ምርምር ጋር በድርጅትም ብዙ መሬት አለን በቤታችንም ላይ እንሰራለን ብለን አስበናል In Ethiopia, several farmer groups like this were dotted across potato growing areas. The groups, comprising of between 20 and 60 men and women, were involved in bacterial wilt management, soil health, and better crop management. Uh, generally, we gave all kind of uh, training about uh, about bacterial wilt, how to control, uh, how to manage, and finally at the end uh, really we we uh, we we reach in, in a good achievement that the risk of bacterial wilt uh, is uh, reduced now uh, farmers uh, produce again like uh, previous times it is tiklalla be bacteria yetebekkel nibir biklet neberu na yen neger qidim indegelezut addet mirmir kemata yene masayach masa addet mirmir izwe neberat na bokkello nante izachu neberachwat malatu እዛም በኋላ እዚላይ ሙከራውን ሲሰራ ከምንድነው ሲል እንደዚህ እንደዚህ ትምርቱን ከወሰድነ በኋላ ያው 3 አመት አሳርፈ እዚላይ ያው እንደዚህ ደርቼ ሄድ እንደዚህ ወጣ እዚህ ማሳ ላይ ነው በዚህ በኋላ ማለገና ያልወጣና ያው በግሩፕ ነው ምንሰራ 16ቱም አንድ 3 ሰዎች ናቸው አሁን ያልገባቸው እንጂ እና ያለዋሉ አሁን ጥሩ ማሳ ያዘጋጁ 3 አመት 4 አመት ያፈራረቅ ነው ይዘራል አንደኛ በመጀመሪያ ማሳውን ስናርሰው የተተከመነበትን የተበከለው መሬት ስንተከመ የነበረው ማረሻ ያው ቀድም እንደተባለው በሳት ለብለ ብነውኛ መነርስ bacterial wilt is both a seed and soil born disease it thrives in the soil for longer periods as long as there is host plant to sustain it it is more prevalent and devastating to the potato and to crops in the same family it can also survive in plants latently without showing any symptom and this can make the disease go unnoticed with a naked eye hence leading to it easily spreading via seeds to other regions if proper care is not taken capacity building was a key component of this project several scientists from the three eastern african countries of kenya uganda and ethiopia acquired grants to pursue masters and doctorate degrees this is egerton university in the rift valley of kenya Phoebe Moaniki is a PhD student at this university. Today we meet her at the university's experimental site. Phoebe is experimenting with the effects of soil amendments and the effects of viable crop rotation system in suppressing bacterial wilt incidence and improving soil health and soil fertility status. In this experimental site we are looking at the effect of different crops uh rotated with potato on bacterial wilt. The four families that we used was Aria, Brassicasi, uh the cereals and also the legumes. And according to our experiments, the plots that had the potato 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 crop or potato within the three seasons uh had very high bacterial wilt incidence uh, at around 80 to 90% wilt incidence. In the treatments where we had one season crop rotation with potato also the bacterial wilt was quite high to around 40 to 60%. Some of the best treatments were from the uh cereo arium combinations that is onion wheat potato berry onion potato that is interchangeable onion and wheat and berry these ones give as reduced uh, reduced bacterial wilt incidence when you do the crop rotations the disease pathogens are able the cycle the life cycle is broken due to the different families and that's the disease incidences are lesser than when you do a monocrop on these seed plots she inoculated the soil with the bacterial wilt pathogen that was prepared in the laboratory she then applied different organic soil amendments and fertilizers to the soil in different plots we are having 
eight treatments, which are inorganic and organic fertilizers. We also have a negative control we ha where we are not treating the plots with any amendment. Half of the seed rot we are treating with cream start. This is a seed treatment that contains four components. That is first guard, root guard, humax and natural weight. From her observations, it became clear that bacterial wilt incidence was reduced in some plots. And from the results from the first season, we realized that when we amended the plots with NPK, uh, which has a ratio of 17-17-17, and we treated the tubers with cream start, we were able to get a higher yield of that three tons per hectare. Joyce Gook is also a beneficiary of the project grant. She's a master's student at the University of Nairobi studying sustainable soil resource management. My first experiment uh, was looking at the influence of, of Abascular mycorrhiza. These are three commercial uh, isolates of fungi and the phosphosolubilizing bacteria on a potato. There I used three varieties of potato, that is Kenyampia, Tigoni and Asante. And I was looking on their influence in terms of yield in terms of shoot biomass, in terms of root colonization and the spore, spore counts in the soil. And uh, the findings were that uh, the vascular mycorrhiza and phosphosolubilizing bacteria were actually effective in enhancing the yield of potato. And actually uh, the rate of colonization was even higher where we saw that uh, there was a combination of both the mycorrhiza and the phosphosolubilizing bacteria. In terms of uh, phosphorus uptake, actually the beneficial microorganisms were able to enhance the uptake of phosphorus in, uh, in potato. This was especially so in Kenyampia. When mycorrhiza was combined with the phosphosolubilizing bacteria, actually the influence was much higher than when they were in, uh, in single combination. In Uganda, the drums have gone silent. With potato already on its deathbed, farmers here relied on farmers' saved seeds and buying seed potato from their neighbours and market. This led to a reduction in yields over time due to the accumulation of diseases and reduced genetic vigour, leading to a slow but sure death of potato farming. In fact, the farmers here gave up on the potato crop about 20 years ago. But hope was on its way. At this research station, situated in the mountainous regions of Mount Elgon in eastern Uganda, Scientists are working on an intervention to hopefully save the situation. Uh, this uh, prompted us to respond by uh, producing uh, basic seed in, uh, so that we can provide sufficient and clean planting material for our farmers because of the cry and the demand for the quality uh, seed. We previously used to produce on only about uh, one hectare of land until uh, we got uh, support from the ADA project and the SIP, where we've now uh, uh, increased our production to two hectares of land twice a year, and that means we end up with at least 40 tons of uh, basic potato. Anyumao, Birasi, Avele, Umundu, Hunyora, Kabusaburasi, Mumatore, Juan Garcia Kakabusa, Huabusia, Project Noe Chidendai. Partnering with the ADA project and in collaboration with the Ugandan leading research institute, Bugazadi, the project implementers availed quality certified basic seed and training to farmers. With the sub-counties selecting potato as their priority commodities, then the demand is passed on to us, which uh, then we supply the seed to the sub-counties, who then supply it to their constituent farmer groups. Scientists here also introduce different effective technologies to reach out to the deserving farmers. We've been able to pass on uh, positive-negative selection techniques to the major producing areas in uh, Sebei, particularly in uh, Benet sub-county of Quen uh, district. On this tipping point of the mountain, this group of 15 farmers were introduced to small seed plot technology, where they were trained on various aspects of potato production. One of them that we felt it was actually very important is the training and the learning. We are trained. 
That's why I'm telling you we, the issue of sorting. If you had come here before that time, you would see all these flowers are mixed. But after that training, we realized that sorting was also important. And even our farmers, our, our, our people who are selling this uh, seed, they, they realized that it was actually important. Today, the group has increased its production area tenfold, and the yields have been overwhelming. Potato production here has surpassed expectations. Families must ponder what to do next, as the harvests have displaced them from their houses. The farmers now need to invest in well-constructed, diffused light stores to store their potato. In Marafa district, a few kilometres from Mbale town in eastern Uganda, eager farmers have started a potato school. Here we find their teacher today talking them through different aspects of potato farming. Key message. Awareness on the seed. Yes, both sides. We say, eh, what is it? What have come? And we saw that is a potato seed. It's a long-awaited relief. Most of the other foodstuffs here are on their deathbed. Banana, being the main food of the Ugandans, seems to be drifting into an abyss. The lethal BXW disease is taking its toll, and the cassava crop does not look promising either. However, a solution to the impending hunger came knocking, and today the future looks towards a more food-secure society. We are not getting uh, enough food and enough crops that my we are basing on uh, Irish potatoes which we have, we have started to plant so as to help us in, in food and money for, for fees for children. The highlands are beaming back to life. The once dying potato crop is again providing food to the farmers, providing income and improving livelihoods. Potato is the hope and the new dawn has come to the potato farmers in eastern Africa. Yay!